Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Switzer Lake. We've got Werner von Hasselhoff. It's, it's Hasselhen, but, you know, Hasselhoff from Baywatch. That's that's where he's from, right? He's from other things, too, but every time I think of, um, what's his name? I think of Baywatch. Or Babewatch, as we called it in school. Haha, so clever, right? Hey, we want to see each cool. Um, so you, dude, you, you kind of... You kind of need you elsewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport you away. This, uh... This guy, the five siege guy is gonna go over here, and we're gonna replace the Paul Brueger down here. He's gotta take care of the Flanderin... Flanderinisner army. Whatever you... However, hey, he crossed in! Wow, Johan the sick... Uh... Fourth. He's not smart. Werner! I mean, he's a 3-1, but, uh, that, that, that'd be 11 right there. It's pretty good, I hear. Wow. 4,000. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a good fight. Okay, another engagement. <coughs> Got an advantage in both phases here. A 1-2, man. The Everyone else has such bad generals right now. Do we want to engage this army? I don't think you... I think we want to wait. <coughs> Damn, tickle in the back of my throat. Okay, five siege guy, you need to come in here. <coughs> hey, there we go. <coughs> that frees up a lot of a lot of territory. <coughs> what the hell? Drive me nuts. Get this territory cleaned up a little bit. What is this? Oh, that was a something we integrated. Um, yeah, I guess you can join that army. We have any odd stacks now? We're at 219 out of 225. Looks like most of his. He didn't really have much of an army, did he? Let's get rid of his fort. Got some Catholic provinces down there. We did manage to lose a fight. Okay, that's fine. Werner! I expect more from you, sir. Oops, that was wrong. We'll continue to just press east with 11 stacks. The siege has only been going on for 100 days. It being obsolete is pretty nice. I don't think that Poland has any troops over here at all. So we're going to keep on just, you know, carpet sieging them. Oh, there's a 20 sack. Where the hell did this thing come from? I, I was just looking at it, right? Like, how did it get there? Okay, um... He's heading into Tarnov. We, can we just go intercept this army so we don't have to worry about it? I want to keep on carpet sieging. Meanwhile, this army's still kind of in recovery mode. Supply's pretty good. We can follow the mountains. Let's move to, to here for now. This army is getting engaged. So we're going to want to shift consolidate. We only have 8,000 troops in the front row. So this is going to be a little bit of a painful fight. But it's Werner! I don't know, I can't stop saying his name that way. Uh, what's more interesting, that fight or this fight? I think this fight's going to go pretty damn easily. It's another Werner! Um, yeah, we're the defender, but we're holding steady. God, that infantry combat ability is so strong! We just uh, stack wiped that... That Polish army. Okay, there's no safe train for you to retreat to, so just head all the way down here. Hopefully you avoid this army. We have too many diplomats free. I should fabricate a claim on France. This war is going to be going on for a while, so we might as well fabricate a claim on the Ottomans too.
Tir Tirgo Viste. I don't think that we're actually gonna have to be in this war, but I just don't like having diplomats free. No, they did catch us, damn it. Never mind, good, they got stack wiped. How did they get stack wiped? That's weird. That was the army that we beat a minute ago. And yet they they died. Why don't we just march on his capital, actually? I'll gladly take a fight in the woods. Paul Brueger, you need to redeem yourself. We're technically losing this war, which is kind of strange. Barry occupied by the Commonwealth. Okay, so he took the capital of our vassal. Hmm. Oh, he was the aggressor into the hills. Or the woods, or whatever this is. Heinrich! Oh, I feel bad for you, you're gonna get stack wiped. Squish! And you're heading to Tyrol, you'll be there on the 30th. Uh... It's, it's an outbalanced, unbalanced army. Notice how he's only got 5,000 infantry, 2,900 cavalry. So he's only got 8 in the front row. So we'll take the fight in the... He'll probably reinforce this, but we'll take it anyway. We're gonna kill some... Kill some dudes in the front row. We'll shift consolidate again. I don't even care about the damn mountains. Whatever. Just look at this. He's gonna... Oh, he actually didn't consolidate. Okay. That's just gonna give us a huge advantage with our infantry. He's heading to Tyrol, so he's going to reinforce. I'm. F I think we're still going to win. Taking a negative three penalty is pretty, pretty penalizing, but we did finish a core, all of our cores. Cool. Okay, you guys can march up to Polotsk. You two go to here. You two go to here. Meanwhile, we're about to take his capital. Somehow we still have negative war score. Uh, negative 11 is the big one from Barry. Could you go ahead and get your capital back, sir? Thank you. That suddenly makes things a lot better. France will grant independence to Floride. France will cede Poitou to Brittany. France will cede Perigord and something else to Aragon. <laughs> They're giving 10% of their income to their colony, their former colony. Okay, so you're going to form... What, probably... something. But yeah, they're free. We're not too particularly interested in things that are over the water. We did, uh... uh it's, yeah, it's not looking good. We can be there by the 1st of November. Can we get there in 10 days? Looks like we'll hold out for 10 days. What a slog. This is a bad fight. Taking his capital in 80 days. Not bad. Oh, and there's another Polish stack. Let's go intercept that army. Okay, I think we want to piece up Flanders, so we'll send one of the armies that way. Let's we'll send the other army up to here, and we're going to take back everything he's occupied. Okay, so that's nice to get that mission out of the way. Make Aragon like us. I mean, maybe. He's hostile. I don't like this. How'd this happen? 15 artillery? Oh, right. I had two armies that failed to, to complete their... their upgrade. That's why we have that many. Yep, there's USA. There we go. Congratulations, USA. We'll get this stuff back. We'll go after the Livonian Orders army. We'll actually go up this way and probably try to take back Rethel.
Looks like he must have narrowly avoided my army. Let's just focus on sieging down forts again. These sieges, even with just a plus two bonus, should be pretty good. It is kind of annoying that he's going to take back some of this province. Uh, tech cost is fine, actually. We just took most of the tech that we're going to take. Ah, shoot, I should have taken this first. Whatever, we'll take it now. It's only 30, 30 points. Not a big deal. Still kind of annoying, but not a huge deal. 14? Take it? Ah, shoot. Squish this Flanders army. Squish? Just, just squish it. I just want you to squish it. Thank you. Let's go back that way. <clears throat> Get an army to take back Rethel. Wait, what? Oh, this is an army that's... I was going to say, why Why would he march right through my army? I'm confused. Excuse me, sir, why would you do this? See, the thing is that even though he's, like, taking back some of these provinces and he's, he's got a pretty sizable army, the amount of war exhaustion he's going to get from all these forts being occupied is just, like, nonsensical. Let's see, um, do we have any forts that are occupied that are on the border? Yes, we do. We have two. Notice how we pay nothing for these. Even though I am not an AI. That is that is the bug. Forts that would cost the AI nothing cost the player nothing as well. Very curious. That's certainly not intended, right? Because why would they give the player a bonus? Seems crazy. The player's not allowed to have any bonuses. Ooh, let's fight the British, yeah. Oh, come on. We haven't had much opportunity to fight the British in the past. Oh, hey, look, it's a 3721. I must pursue this army. The AI just seems to do this so often. They have one army with no cannons and one army with all the infantry. Like, how do they do? Th Why do they do this? There it is. Coming for you. We're gonna get you. Okay, we can't catch him there. Let's go this way. Oh, God. Just doesn't make any sense. Look at this army. 10 in the front, 21 in the back. Makes sense. Wow, you're quick. Still not defensive terrain. Just, it doesn't make... I just don't get it. Can't just take double damage in the front row. I like guess really bad. We just stack wiped it. You know what? He deserved it. The recovery tick in. The shift consolidate. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Five five thousand men roughly to kill. 20, 21, 22,000. So good. Especially when you're using mercs, you know? I feel bad. I actually do. The beating up on the AI, it's usually so fun. But when they're this incompetent, it just makes me feel guilty. Well, our cores are done, so we could totally end this war with the Commonwealth whenever... 
whenever we want. I want to integrate the other guy. Let's improve relations with Barry, make sure that he's at a high enough opinion that we can integrate right away. I think we can, but I don't want to look at the numbers, it's too much effort. Keep on marching. These two will take care of that. Arriving on the 14th and the 14th, perfect. There's still a fairly sizable number of troops out there. The Commonwealth is down to 9,000. The Livonians have 22,000. There's no other land battles going on right now. British. That's what we need. We need to kill the British. You know what? Let's actually go for that. Engage those Livonians there. And we only have 34 war score. Under controls Helix. Ah, right. Okay, I let him take that back, didn't I? Sizable army down here. Why don't we grab like 40,000 troops? War stack. Ignore these guys for now. Be the defender here. He's gonna arrive. Very soon, 10 days, we'll have reinforcements on the 5th. I think we have enough troops piling in that even though he's going to engage us with some bad numbers there for a bit. Hungarian separatists, interesting. We'll, we should be fine. Let's see, Paul Brueger. What are you doing over here? Yeah, we need this guy over here, I think. Werner. I'm always going to say it that way. You can't stop me. There's the reinforcements. Ooh, free stability. Oh my god. <laughs> Of course, that's what we need is 10% more discipline for the next uh, five years or whatever this is. Till December of 42. What? Why is it six years? Weird. Well, thank you, game, because that's clearly fair. Fair and balanced. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. He's obviously going to retreat to Bessarabia. This is going to be uh, an easy squish, I think. Yeah. Uh, well, that that was the Commonwealth. And yeah, both of them, they just both just got squished. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good stuff. Yeah, in the meantime, can we do anything with these guys? No military access, huh? Well, that's kind of annoying. Oh well. Alright, well, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, I look forward to seeing you again soon. See you in a bit.